Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to SevTech. This is an awesome mod and we are having a great time. So what we are up to today guys, I want to get along with this stuff here so we can automate all our wood chopping and things and pressing your luck. Okay, uh, the press charcoal into a larger block. Okay, that sounds great. We want to get these all automatically working with horses because you know, we're lazy and we don't want to be doing any of this stuff. So I've chopped up a bunch of wood. Where did I put it? I think I've put it in the chest over here. One of these. Uh, this one here right so we've got 64 of those 64 of those right let's see what it actually takes to make these things so to make the horse chopping block we need um, a thing there sticks flint and a lead okay so we don't have any flint left I'm pretty sure we got rid of all that is there any in here no I'm gonna have to go find some more flint guys and where is that tool uh, that thing right there we need that that helps us get the flint out of the gravel. All right, I'm gonna go find that, make this horse thing, and there's a few more horses up there, I think. So yeah, I can see one right there. We will go grab him in a second and uh, get it chopping us some wood. Come on, new horse friend. Come down the hill, come on. All right, guys, we have a, another horse. I've got the thing in the crafting table. This guy just comes with me. Let's craft this up, that's it, awesome. And now if we make sure that he comes over here, we need a gap of one, two, three, one, two, three. So we can place that here, I think. Invalid seven times seven times two area. Why do you need to be up a block as well? Let's just move it over one and see what happens. If we put you here, is that all right? No, you need to be up as well. That's, that's a bit redonkulous. So if I move this back here, we'll put one here and put you up there is that better right okay it's okay now guys now we have a horse on there now we can stick in some wood like this oh look at it go go on horsey and then it's gonna drop down and chop it oh how many times does it take to chop it this these things are horrendously slow but at least we can leave them right so that's like that guys if we get some um hoppers going we'll be able to take the items out of the bottom of these so We'll also be able to stick them in the top because right now I have to come over here and put one in it at a time, but we don't really want to be doing that. All right, let's munch on these wild berries. I'm just going to check on my hunger things, right? So our fruit is almost up. When we get to here, I think we get two extra hearts. So we could get um, eight extra hearts if we have all of these, or maybe it'll just give us a full 10 if we have all of them up there, but like that. But obviously, I don't think we're going to get there for a while because we need to get all of the food in one probably because by the time you increase this one these have all gone down you know what i mean so probably need to make some epic food later on in the game but for now that's all right okay so we have done that um, i'm gonna leave this for now and go down to these uh wooden hoppers so i'm going to go check out how to make them so let's just quickly type hopper in here and see what's going on so that's the normal one and that is the mark two okay so it is a chest with wood around it like that and these chests are just wood around rock okay so that's not too hard guys i'm going to make a couple of those and uh we'll see what happens okay guys we just made the hopper right there there it is i'm just gonna make four for now keep these in here i grabbed one of our blue chests so if we just go over here and dig this out we can stick it down here and then we will put the grass back here. And once we remove this, we should be able to put a hopper in. And then we should be able to see our chest as well. So, yes, like so. Okay, cool. Where is our uh, hoppers that we just made? There they are. All right, super blind. That is me. All right, shift click that onto there. Are you pulling that out of there? Okay, good. Now, so these can only uh, pick items up from out of, on top of them. I don't think there's no inventory to access or anything. So well, we can't actually click on that chest. Does this, okay, it's still valid with that, like that. Okay, cool. Let's put all, oh, it makes four out of one. That's awesome, okay. Um, wait, can we stack the wood in here? Maybe we can stack the wood in here. It just won't carry on until you've, no, you can only put one in. Okay. Oh, sorry, Mr. Horsey. You, you kind of ran into that, but I mean, that's my fault. Sorry. Okay, so we need to put a hopper on top of that so let's go up here and put a hopper like this on top 
And then I guess we're going to need a chest on top of there as well. So I might have to go, go steal another chest from over there. And then that will be all working. So we'll put all of our wood in there and see uh, how long that takes. So I'm just going to quickly grab one of these. These are all empty on the end here. Got to eat some more wild berries. What are we doing? How, how are we doing on the uh, thing? We got 92%. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, why did I break down my tower? I'm going to have to get straight back up there. Oh, wow, that auto jump thing is, is incredibly uh, confusing. Okay, right. So, number one, put it on here, right like so. Fantastic. Now we can just put this in here, and it should just go into here automatically. This, this horse really trying to get punched in the face. Okay, so we should be getting all of that in there. I don't know how long that's going to take, but that is awesome. Okay, that's all set up, guys. We got some uh, early automation. Let's let's take a sleep in our awesome teepee, and then uh, we will get back on with what is next. So we've got this. Let's um, maybe we should uh, try and make some uh, what, what we make buffalo. Right, that's what it is. Let's let's get on with this. I'm going to have a look at this. All right, so we got the jingles, and now we just need to pick that up, put that in. here here and then we get a stick of some description any description really actually put that there craft it up and that's our rattle step one and now we got the drum Let, let's see how he goes he goes uh oh sweet mate sweet this is gonna be some sick music mate you guys ready and the flute guys here we go okay we've, we've got it all now that's going to give us the advancement and we also should have got a book yes we have right um ceremonies what 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 are these okay there's, there's a bit of reading to do guys ceremonies are a way for a totemist to gather strength over a period of time through the power of music and other acts to release a central burst of effects the center of a ceremony is a totem base all music and other things are centered to the totem pole and it is where the effects are released from okay to form a ceremony there are a few things you must do to select and initiate your ceremony you must play up to four instruments in their selected mode in their selector mode to a totem pole every ceremony has a unique sequence of instruments to play an instrument in the selector mode just play it normally while sneaking when you have played the corresponding instruments for the ceremony the startup will initiate okay this this is confusing guys so we need a totem pole um what is startup mode musical instruments and store it this is called music melody okay honestly guys you know i'm just gonna i'm just gonna make the totem base and see what happens what what we need to do is we want to make uh the buffalo so as the white man came and took over the lands he murdered almost all of the buffaloes that were once roaming the lands in large hordes however not all hope is lost da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. yeah we just want to know how to do it guys okay so we need wind chimes and a totemist drum medium little music avoid using red rags i don't know what that means but i mean okay so that's what we need we need the totem drum and some wind chimes this let me figure this this one out guys this, this one's a yeah confusing one Alrighty guys, so we need to make this totem whittling knife, which we cannot because we don't have iron, so I'm very confused on to how, how we're supposed to do the ceremony. Very, very confused indeed. So I don't quite know what's going on there. That was a massive lag spite. Um to carve out the totem base. So Okay, six meters high. Uh, totem poles will be default give beneficial effects. So um, right now I I can I can hold shift and do this little ceremony, but n nothing comes up. I've got I've got a few cows here. They're close by. I think they're close enough, aren't they? I uh, I don't know, guys. So I might have to uh, look around a bit more. There are there are heaps of cows over there. I can bring here. I just spread these guys up with some wheat that I found. There are a few little pieces of wheat just floating around. Because so far I still haven't got the farmland, so um, there was some here that I got and a bit more over there. But you know what? Um, I'm just going to go on the internet because I got no idea what I'm doing. Alright guys, I have figured it out. All we needed was some flaked flint. We can make the, uh, what do you call it? The the, the chiseling knifey thingy, midjiggy thing. We can make that. 
with some flaked flint instead. So now we can create a totem base. So if we shift and click, it'll change the mode down here. And we want to get to totem base. Oops, we went past it. Um, all of these different things. So we want to do that. And then we can shift. We can uh, read the book and it will tell us lots of different things. But anyway, we've got the totem base for now. I just want to see if we can do this. Um, we need a open hand as well. Okay. So we want to hit the drum and then this. Or do we want to, wait, we want to shift click this and then this or the other way around. Hit this and then this. Is that fecal what waltz? No, we don't want to do that. I did it the wrong way around, guys. We have to wait for this timer to run out now. Nope, do not want to do that one, guys. Um, um do we want to grow another cow first? Okay, let me just get one more cow, because I think this trans transformed to two of them and I don't want to lose all my cows. I just want to get a buffalo for now. So let's try and get some wheat. Do we have any? Oh man, this is this is gonna be complicated. We need some more wheat. There's gotta be some around here somewhere. Okay guys, so now I have four cows, so that's really good. Oh wait, we can eat some food. I wanna see if this gets up up oh we do have more hearts. Oh that's awesome. Okay, we should start eating something else now. We've got um steak here. We'll start eating that from now on. Okay, cool. So let's get a open hand again. Let's move this in here. So we think we need to go drum and then that. That's the one we want. Now we just need to need to go crazy hitting all these drums. Now see that line at the top that has to get to the end before uh, the timer at the bottom does. So we just I made a few extra drums because it makes it a lot easier because they all sort of have a bit of timer on them. There we go. Now did we get buffalo? Oh yeah, guys, we got two buffalo. That's awesome. Now they start off as babies and uh, we can't pick them up, can we? Oh, we can. Okay, cool. I'm going to put you in there for now. Maybe we can't pick them up when they're older. Um, I need to move them to a different pen. So, you know, what? I need to make some cobblestone walls. I have looked up. You can do that. So, um, we'll do that. Uh, let's get a few more of these. One, two, three. Oops, I can't count. And I can't count again. Guys, terrible. All right, craft these up. Get us some walls. I hope this gives us enough, actually. Um, we'll just make a little pen somewhere. So we've got these guys over here, maybe in this direction. Oh, I planted trees everywhere. Just because I wanted to keep getting wood. Every time I get a sapling, I just plant it down somewhere random. That's why we've got trees all around us now. I did clear out this space though, so, you know. Um, let's just put this like this so we can get in there. And then we can chuck our buffalo in there as well. Let's make them a nice little pin like this. One, two, three, four, perfect. Uh, let's pick this guy up. Oh, they're going crazy. Is it? How do I pick you up? Is it not shift? I did pick you up just a second ago. I know I did. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now we will put you in here. Oh, we've not put you inside. Not at all. I mean, you're kind of inside. Why can't I pick you up now? Yes, okay. Go in there. Okay, good boy. Now let's get another one. Right. It's very hard to pick these guys up for some reason. I was picking up the cows before. All right, those guys are in there. They are all safe. Little cows in here. We'll breed up some more and get some more buffalo. But that is done for now, so that is good. Right, let's have a look at the advancements tree. What do we have to do? So this is killing the buffalo, so we need to get their teeth. I don't want to do that. Obviously, they're, they're young, so they won't drop anything. Uh, we can do that. I might do this off screen because it's not super exciting, but this one is pretty cool. Upper that moves items and keeps blocks above it hot. So that means we will be able to automate uh, this machine here and this machine here as well. So that is pretty cool. Um, our little horsey guy over here chopped up all our wood. We actually had 52 in here, but I stole it to make um, a few things. So yeah, these guys are going good. Let's um, crack on with some other stuff. Actually, if we just look up here, we got to go to um, a saddle. Um, how do we get a saddle? Let me guess. Lots of uh, leather that I don't want to make because it's super boring. But let's have a quick look. Three leather and those. Okay, I've got these. I don't have three leather though. I just used the last of my leather to make those drums. So I guess we're going back to uh, making some leather, guys. Alrighty, guys. We got three leather here just drying. I've got the stuff on the crafting table. We are just going to go up here because there are more horses. We're going to tame one of these guys. I think it's just the same as usual. You just sort of uh, jump on him. Which one do we like? This guy. He's pretty cool. Um, just, no. So we just got to keep jumping on him until he loves us. So we'll just tame this guy up real quickly. Oh, there's, there's villagers up here. 
Have I talked to these villagers? Probably. Come on, horsey. Are we friends yet? He hasn't kicked me off yet. I think we're friends. Maybe particles. Nope. Nope, he kicked me off. Come on, man. Oh, I think I saw a love heart. I'm not sure I'm inside this tree. But uh, that, that, that leather might be dried now, so we can go make the saddle. Man, that leather process is so slow. Oh, a bison buffalo guy. Why am I calling it a bison? Nobody knows. That that guy's growing up. Let's let's take out these. I don't want them here. They're going to be very annoying. Oh yes, it's dry. Okay, cool. Time to make a saddle. Wicked guys, we can ride a horse now. Um, let's put that in there. Crafting rock, craft it up. Oops, stick that back in there. Let's click way too many times. Now let's go back to that horse. It was the uh, brown one with spots on it. I'm pretty sure. Not you. Maybe this guy that's still stuck under a tree. Uh, yes, it is this guy. Right, now we can ride them. Right, we have a horse, guys. That is awesome. What is the next stage? I think we get a cart and we can put it on the back of this guy. So he's probably going to try to run away. So uh, I've got nothing to tie him to as of now. So let's just put him in this pen with our, with our buffalo, guys. Yes, we got out. Cool. All right, he's in there. Oh, now we're stuck in here. Okay, guys, we're going to have to... I can't get out of here, but these cows just... They try to get out straight away, so... One of these effects in here lets us walk up walls, like two high walls. Do -do -do -do. One of these gives you... Brings you good luck. No. Gives you a jump boost, lets you climb walls like a spider. Okay, cool, guys, so let's, let's do that. Do we have that tool on us? Let's hope so. There it is. Uh, let's um let's go to it. Can we get out of this book, please? Oh lag again. You know what? I I don't even know what to do. Um right, bat, we're on that. We want to go to spider. Like this, and put that on there. Now we can just climb up this wall. Oh yeah, right, we're out of that silly hole. Okay, cool. Now we can't get stuck in there again. Wow, these bushes are going crazy. Okay. What was I talking about, guys? I've got not a clue. Not a single clue. Right, uh, wheels on the bus. Craft the wheel from Astacor to use on the horse carts. Okay, use Astacor action key to access to attach horses to carts. Okay, will do, mate. Will do. All right, let's make the wheels and the cart thing in a jig. And then uh, then, then we'll be in, we'll be able to transport lots of stuff all over the place. I think, I think this just has an inventory, so that would be pretty sweet. Well, that was easy, guys. Two wheels. Did you guys know we could upgrade our chests to have a few more slots with just a bit of uh, bark stuff here? Oh, and my rock broke. Give me another one. Right, so now these chests. Look, you got extra space. That's awesome. I did not know that. But uh, just just found that out because the recipe I needed needed these advanced chests. So, yeah, we, these ones just have this, this much space, but the advanced ones have a bit more. So... Uh, we will uh, take that out. We need an open hand to take that out. Right, we need to put these back in. How do we make this cart thing? That's what I want to know. Uh, cart. If I put a T here, there we go. Okay, so the two wheels, the two chests, and then any wood and a, uh, a slab there. So we're going to have to make the slab first, guys. Let's quickly do that. Get our crafting rock, which is down here. Oh my goodness, get the stuff out of here. Um, yes, that should do. All right, so we got them. Oh, we kind of want that. So you go here. Wheels, wheels. Primal advanced chest. I forgot what goes in the middle. Just wood like that. Okay, easy. Like so. And that should be our cart, guys. Pick it up, and we should get an, uh, an advancement. That's the one. Right, where's our horsey friend? We need to get him out of here. Jump out of here. Okay, um, I need to find out what the uh, key is for this, actually. Because I can't just attach it to him. I need, I can't, I can't do anything. I'll just hop on him if I do that. Okay, let's jump off and find the key. All right, guys, it took me ages, but I finally figured it out. You have to place the cart on the ground, get on the horse, and then I had to press semicolon on my keyboard to get it to attach. It does funky things like this, but it, it does attach. So if we go for a bit of a ride here in F5, you'll see. 
He's coming along with us. It's a bit weird, but yeah. So now what we can do, guys, is jump out of F5, jump off, and we will be able to put stuff in here. Now, I don't know what we're going to do now, but let's um let's put him back in his little paddock over here. If we just put you in here and the cart can stay there, that's fine with me. Oh, now we're stuck in here. Oh, we can climb walls, though, remember? Oh, well, that's awesome. We'll just, we'll just leave that there, making a mess and doing whatever the heck it's doing. All right, guys, we got some giant buffalo and everything. So that was a few more things we got going on here. Geared up, and then we can make quit milling around. It's miller time. A craft ma uh, bleh, bleh, millstone from Better With Mods. Man, I can't talk. Okay, so we got this. We got that. We do need to kill the buffalo, but um, not really keen on that. All right, guys, so oh, we're way back here. We need to go to that village that is in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to do that right now. Let's um, just see if we can do this buffalo one. How many hits is it? Oh, I don't want to kill both of you. Just one. Stop moving. Come here. You. Yep, you're down. Did you drop what I need? Yes, we got another achievement advancement. I keep calling them achievements. They're advancements, guys. All right, so what is this hopper? We've got a, a, another hopper, so let's just make this one to see if we can get the next level the mark two so so let's quickly type up here the mark two here we go so it's got that and a cobweb oh i don't have cobwebs i do have shears though let's um uh, actually can we craft these anyway string with sticks okay that's easy let's let's make some of them all right, we got that, guys. That is a, another quest done. Now, let's look at the next one, Flame Grilled Goodness, a hopper that moves items and keeps blocks above it. Um, hot, so uh, it doesn't have a name of what it's called here, but it might be called Flame Grill. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it's just called another hopper. So we need the advanced hopper. We need charcoal dust, shark tooth. Oh, guys, that's that and a shadow gem. Okay, we do not have that stuff, guys. I really wanted to make that, but that... That's all right. That's all right. Let's, um, oh, this was kind of organized at one stage, guys. Believe me. It, there's, there's kind of some sort of organization going on here. Like, this salt's not supposed to be in there. I can come out and go in this random chest. So we got the buffalo tooth. Well, what can we make out of that? I've got not a clue, guys. Not a single clue. Um, I don't want to take on this boss just yet. Don't want to quite go here. We need the farmland. That's holding us back, I think. Because we need to get some better food and we need to do some more farming and things. But um, I think I'm going to wrap it up here for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Civtech.